My name is Julio Perez, and I survived the vehicular assault. 10.30 p.m. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Julio Perez has finished a shopping trip and is driving away. He's unaware that he's being closely tailed by this car. But as a driver, his two dash cams are recording. Julio gets a couple of blocks before his nightmare begins. You can see him in the background pulling out about a couple of blocks, really, from where I was. And he just basically gunned it to catch up to me. I got to the stop sign, and he was right next to me. Right away, I knew something was wrong. He just cut me off, got right in front of me, blocking my path, like intentionally. That's when all the red flags started going off, and I knew that I just needed to get the hell out of there. Once I realized that something was crazy, I just, the car reversed. The car chases Julio over local roads. I was just wondering who the hell are these guys? Why are they following me? Why are they trying to hurt me? I was just blown away by the situation because I was not expecting to be in a car chase. The suspect turns on his brights, this time cutting in front of him near a gas station. I was just starting to think, am I gonna get home tonight? Am I gonna see my baby, I, my wife? All this stuff started going through my head. I made a left turn into the gas station and I gassed it with everything I had. And they were right next to me the whole time. Dude. Julio reaches for his phone. I was just going straight, and I figured if I go into the freeway, you know, I have no chance because this car is twice as fast as my car, at least. And what if he runs me off the road, or who knows, you know, what would have happened? So I just figured I'd stay on the busy streets. Maybe I'll see a police officer or something. Suddenly, Julio spots flashing lights. I got excited for a second and I started racing towards them, but it turned out to be a tow truck. It wasn't a police officer. Hey, there's a car following me. He's throwing at me. Is it behind you? Yes, he's right behind me. They keep flashing their lights at me and they just threw something at my car. You hear it in my voice that I'm panicking. I'm, I'm really panicking at this point. What the hell is going on? Oh, there's a cop right next to me. And it was just such a relief to see the, a police officer in another lane. Julio throws the car in park and runs to the officer. I got out of the car, signaling to the cop. Right when I did that, the car that was chasing me went around me and the cop gave chase. Are going Is the officer there with you? No, he just, he just went on a high-speed car chase. Julio catches up with the officer who has lost the suspect. Did you get a plate number? I wasn't able to get Man, that. I was... Oh, that's okay, that's fine. The guys in the uh, car had gone through a residential neighborhood, and I guess the policy here in Albuquerque is they, they don't do high-speed pursuits in residential areas. Despite the video going viral, police never find the driver. I definitely feel that I was not their first victim because uh, they were parked waiting for somebody to pull out. I quit driving altogether. I'd rather just be safer than put myself in a position where that could happen again. On average, 215 out of every 100,000 people have their car stolen each year, according to data compiled from the National Insurance Crime Bureau. 